Hi everyone, this is a very special moment that I would like to share with you to show you the difference uh, between the human way of communication and non-human way of communication. So the usual way that we communicate with each other or with animals is through speech, gestures or body language. And this is not how uh, animals engage. They uh, talk through energy. We can call something like a telepathy, but this word is tricky because telepathy means I am sending thoughts and words to you, where uh, animals don't have words in their language. They have um, transmission of feeling and information beyond the speech. So in this video, I will show you first how a man is talking to horses and basically trying to build a relationship, but you will see how the horses are not responding or reacting. Because with practice, they just learn that human speech does not transmit any useful information to them unless we train them where we assign a word to a command and then give food reward. Then, of course, they will memorize the sound of the word. But it's completely different. It's not that they understand this word and the meaning that we assign to it. And next, in the video, you will see how I am establishing communication with the foal on a different level. So also his mother allowed me to be inside of the pen for a long time. And I was the first to do that because she was very reactive to anyone who would step in and get close to the foal. Hey, my friend. Hey, little girl. Look this eye. Say hello to everybody. Tell them good morning. Hey. Yeah, you don't start eating grass. You don't want more milk. You want grass. There are two main things that I'm doing right here. It's related to mind and it's related to body. For the mind, I'm stopping complete thought activation. So I'm not thinking anything. My mind is empty. And it took me years uh, to reach this point. And I know it's, it seems impossible, but it's very doable. And in fact, it's our natural primary state. Oh my gosh. Because thinking is actually talking. So when you are thinking of anything, you are talking inside of your head. And this talking, this human language, creates pollution in your channel to receive and transmit information and energy. Imagine as if there is a natural wave frequency of animals, of plants, of nature, and it's constantly vibrating. You can access that only when you switch off that noise that is distracting you from listening to that and also animals they can feel that noise they feel that noise as something intense something troubling and that keeps them away from us And as for the body, it is important to drop into a state of complete trust and peace. And this trust is not mental idea, it's actually physical sensation. It's like you are sensing all parts of your body, your skin, your organs, everything at the same time. And you are so connected, you're so grounded inside that you not only feel physical body, but you also feel your energy body. So you feel how the energy moves inside, how the heart is beating, how the blood is flowing. And at the end, 
it's a combined state, the empty mind and the calm body. And that together creates a possibility and curiosity in animals because they feel trusting, they feel peaceful, and they are able to approach and engage with you.